Hi, here in this video we are trying to install Julia on our smartphone. So first we need to download the app Termux. Let's um, just go to the Play Store and then you're gonna see this app. And then we hit install. After installing we need to open the app. And after that, we will go to our web browser and there we will search for Termux Fedora and here on this website, first you have to go and get the desktop site so you will see the readme. Then we will copy this link. It's under instructions. We will go back to Termux and paste it. Now it will take a little while and it will install Fedora. After that we have to choose which version we just take the example and copy that and go back and paste it. We just hit enter. After that we will go to the Julia website to the download link and go to uh, generic Linux binaries for ARM. So it's under here and we just copy the link copy link address and yeah Termux just works now it will take a while so we just wait now Fedora is installed and we can just type start Fedora Now we are in a Fedora Linux environment, so we will install um, wget with m install wget This will take a little while, so we just wait It usually takes about two minutes or something, so we'll just wait for it. The next step is we get asked a question and there uh, we will answer yes. So we just wait for it. Okay, we see that's still working and some stuff is popping up. Here we will we will write 
Y and then hit enter. Now everything is done. So we will type wget and then we took we took the link from Julia downloads the generic Linux binaries. We copied that. So we will paste it and download it. This will take a couple of seconds. Now we can type ls and we see that we downloaded it. So with tar minus x zf and now we'll untar it or unzip it. This will also take a couple of seconds with ls we'll see it's now a new folder with cd julia tab we get in it and then ls we see we have bin so we go to bin and there with ls we see we have julia so we just point then we have Julia. Yes, Julia is installed. So now we can try it. So for example, we can generate random matrices 10 by 10. And we get a random matrix. We can invert the random rate matrix. Let's get a matrix with integers from 0 to 10, 10 by 10, 10 by 10, and we push it into the inverse function. Yes, and we get the inverse of it. Okay, everything works. So now let's install um, Unicode plot plots. This will take a little longer. So after I download it all, 100% we will wait for about five minutes or so so we will just wait you can skip it or yeah I will just wait for it
Yes, finally, something is going on. Oh no, it's an error. Okay, we will try it again. At Unicode plots. I know it works, so we'll just try it again. This time it will go a little bit faster. And we are done. So you sing, you sing, Unicode plots. It will pre compile. That should be done in a couple of seconds, so we just wait. Now it's done, so we can define a function f of x should be equal to, for example, x squared. We type line plot of the function f from for example, minus 3 to 3, press enter, wait a couple of seconds, and boom, we have a plot in our console on our smartphone. So this is pretty, pretty cool. I hope you enjoyed it, and you will install Julia on your smartphone, and everything works for you. See you next time.